What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this video if you are new. In today's video, I'm gonna be making a dark track beat. Something super spooky, something to give you goosebumps and make you feel the chills. I guess you'd kind of get this like Halloween kind of vibe from it, something really dark. That's what I'm gonna be trying to go for today. But before I get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button right now and join the family. And if you have done so already, thank you for your support. But one more thing, hit the notification bell. So every single time I post, you're gonna get a notification. I'm doing daily videos every single day this month and I don't want you to miss out to so make sure you have that notification bell click and one more thing follow me on Instagram at prod by ocean because I'm also doing a daily video there too and I'm doing a massive giveaway every single day but you have to look out on my story for the announcement on how to win and with that being said let's get into the video Alright, so I have logic opened up and I've already put it to 140 BPM and I have this spooky kind of sound in Omnisphere, I think it's, a re it's from the retro pack, it's called Early Warmies. So I'm just going to try and find something. Okay, I think I got it. Just going to go in here, one size everything, make sure it's in time. This one's kind of off. I think it gets off for about here. And it's missing a note here. To be honest, I could just split it here, delete that, join them up here, and change the last note. That's my main melody down now. So what I'm gonna do now is add in a counter melody to go with this as well. So I pulled up an ARP on Omnisphere, so I'm literally just gonna play around and try and find something. I think I got it there, so I'm gonna go ahead and record it. going to make sure everything is quantized perfectly so I'm going to control everything press Q and I'm also going to EQ it a bit as well I'm going to take out some of the low end and some of the high end too and I think I'm going to leave my melodies like that super simple super easy now I'm going to do the drums first thing I'm going to add in is my clap I'm going to be using a clap from my kit called Atlantic So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and add that in. And I think also I want to duplicate this clap. I'm just going to layer it. I think I'll use this one. Now I'm going to go in there add in an open hat. But I want it to be reversed. So I want it to have this effect like sk. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to be using my Atlantic drum kit again. I'll just pick a random open hat. And I think I'm going to have to make the release a bit quicker. Let me just find the perfect place. And then we reverse it. Something like that. Now I'm going to go in and add in a second hi-hat. I chose my hi-hat and basically I'm just going to play it in at different pitches and I'm purposely going to play it off time because I want it to have an off time effect. So let's go. So I'm going to fix this up because not everything was played in well. Some of the velocities are way too low. So I want it to have this effect like this off effect. Let me turn up the velocity. Now that's the second open hat done. I'm gonna go in there and add in some hi hats now. So 
So I'm just gonna add a height hat from my pack. I'm gonna drag this out, change this to one eighth. And then I'm also gonna pitch this down. So when I edit it, so now when I edit it, I can change up the pitches. You just turn this down a bit. I'm gonna just move everything up. Something like that. So I think I'm going to leave the hi-hats just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my kick. I'm going to use one of my favourite kicks from my Atlantic drum pack, Elkhorn. I think I'm just going to keep the, drum, the, the kicks nice and simple. Maybe something like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in a perk. I'm just going to duplicate this, change out the kick. I, I kind of just want to keep it simple. I think right at the end will do. And I just change the pitch, drag that in there. Last but not least, I'm going to add in some gliding 808s. Just raise up the, the octave. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm just going to go ahead and play that in. Alright, so I definitely played something in wrong there. So I'm just going to quantize it all and fix everything up. So I'm just going to move everything down an octave. It's going to be difficult to hear through the computer, but I'm going to add in some reverb. I mean, some distortion. And I basically leave the beat just like that. If anything, to give it some more variation, I think I would duplicate these two, add in some half time. I think I'm actually going to do that really quickly. So I'm just going to duplicate that, open up M Rhythmizer and 50% speed it. And this is, I guess, like the equivalent to gross beat in FL Studio. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to duplicate that sound. So both of my melodies basically have this, uh, this halftime effect. And I think I might change the speed that it's going up to 4 and then I'd rearrange this into a proper beat. I'll take out everything there, leave the half sped part up, and I'll take these two out. I'll take out the bass, the kick, the perk. I'd add in a little drop here, and then I'd let it go to the main part. And then I'll just keep doing that and adding a bit more variation. But that's about it for this beat. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I respond to all my comments just as long as you're not spam. So yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. That's me making a dark track beat. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, that's about it for this one. I'll see you in the future.